to Club Punta Fuegos Golf Course. Designed by Nelson and Hayworth, this 9-hole par 29 golf course has paspalum baginatum grass for its fairways and tip dwarf grass for their greens. This is where you can get the best view of the ocean and the strong feel of the breeze. So that means it is quite challenging. Thus, I need reinforcement. Let's go meet one of the directors of the La Camara and head to the first featured hole. We will be starting off in the most difficult hole in this course. Hole number one, a par three with 180 yards from the blue tees. Now, Miguel, can you tell me the strategy for this hole? Well, this hole for uh, um, low handicappers, it's uh, fairly easy but long. Um, they can easily reach it with a with a iron. But unfortunately, like people like me, who aren't as blessed um, <laughs> and don't uh, hit as long. I will have to use a driver for 182 yards and hope to hit the back end of the green, uh, behind the green, because if you hit the front end of the green, before the green, if you ground the club a bit, hit the front of the green instead, you might roll into the water mm -hmm. hazard. So the best bet for uh, high handicappers is just go aim for the back of the green. So if and to the left, sorry. So if ever that they don't reach it, is there another alternative? Well, the other alternative for the uh, short hitters would be try to aim to the right of the uh, water hazard. Um, you could use a pitching wedge or a nine iron for the long hit, uh, short hitters, and then another eight iron up to the green. Mm -hmm. uh, that would also be a safe bet. Okay, so let's go and try this. Right. Good. Hole number one, it's a part three, but then you have to hit the ball over the water. It's uh, 180 yards. And, you know, after a long trip and you try to hit the ball right all at once, uh, it's challenging. Right. Get up. Okay, Miguel, so with my birdie putt, naturally, the green is fast because it's going towards the water and it's a little bit to the left. Would you agree with my read? Yes, um, I agree with the re your read. Uh, it, it's very much to the left even, and um, it is a bit on the slow side, even if it visually is downhill mm -hmm. and it is going to the water hazard. So I would, I would tend to aim to the left, but even though there may be a slight break to the left, like a double break here at the very end, but the majority of it is on the left side. Okay. Starting off in a difficult hole isn't for the light-hearted, but I've got confidence in Miguel and his tips. As we continue on the next featured holes, Mark, as usual, is lounging around in the golf club. <laughs> <laughs> 